Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And I'm out again. Poda, as usual, same park, new setup. I'm gonna try something completely different today, and I'm not in my car. So let's unsup this antenna. You can see the case is pretty much similar to the buddy stick case. And I have not bought this antenna. I borrowed it from a fellow ham because I am looking for a uh, buddy stick-like antenna that could be easier to tune. Inside the case here, we have four of these aluminum rods as compared to the buddy stick, which has only two of those. We have the feed point here, a ground spike, some radials, a two and a half meter whip, and a loading coil. And speaking of that whip, that whip is two and a half meter, which is according to the manual, which isn't really any good, uh, quarter wave on 10. And it should be pretty close to quarter wave on 10. So it means that on 10, we won't need a coil. Also on 15, we're supposed to use all four aluminum rods and the antenna, shortening the antenna a little bit, but not uh, use the coil there. So there's a bit of a difference to the buddy stick, but how well does it work? I've only t tried this once at home and it worked fine there, but I'm not sure how it'll work now. But let's get it set up and uh, see how that goes. And here's to today's first pro tip. When you pack a new bag, make sure that you pack everything. Check it twice. Um, I don't have any coax, so I need to drive back home. It is about a 10 minute drive each way. So I'll be back in 25, 30 minutes. For you, it'll seem like I've just cut and edited this video. For me, it'll seem like half an hour. I'll be back in half an hour. Okay, it's been 32 minutes and uh, I got the coax. It's all about having hard, no wait, I'm not that child. It's all about making the effort and correcting your mistakes. So let's get everything set up.
Okay, this just happened when I was tuning my antenna. Uh, I got it on tune on 20, but at the same time, <laughs> I saw a low flying helicopter, a uh, Norwegian Air Force Sea King uh, search and rescue helicopter used for medevacs and uh, search and rescue. And um, right next to where I am, there's a golf course. Um, I landed there, there's police, uh, fire departments there. Don't really know what's happening, but I'm gonna keep on POTA instead. So uh, let's see how the antenna does. And again, filming out VNA is hard, but this is the 20 meter band and it's changing a little bit uh, with the wind, but um, it's under two for the entire 20 meter band. So let's hook up the radio and uh, get going. No luck on 20. Absolutely no luck. Um, Go on QSY to 15 then. Um, and according to the manual, uh, what you do when you tune the antenna for 15 is that you keep all the four aluminum rods, you remove the coil, place the whip on top of the rods, and you shorten the rod a little bit. So let's try that and uh, see what happens. And this is probably not the antenna I'm looking for, I can tell you that much. Let's take a look at the antenna here and see what I've done. Uh, the coil is tapped at the uppermost point here for 15 and the antenna is or the whip is shortened quite a bit and that was the only way I could get it in tune. So let's find a frequency on 15 and call some CQs. If that doesn't happen, if anything doesn't happen on 15 now, I'm going to switch to FD8 because it's been two two hours since I left home and I haven't had a single QSO. So um, it's about time to call some CQs on 15 and if not, I'll do some FD8s. This is not my day for doing POTA. Um, I've been switching over to doing some digi modes now, some FD8 and FD4, and on 15, I think, just because the antenna is tuned that way. Um, I actually think that the antenna is a pretty good performer, though. Um, I used it yesterday in the yard and I uh, had a couple of contacts there, so um, the antenna works. It might just be the band conditions, the time of day, whatever. So let's do some digimodes and see how this goes. Okay, this has been a long and tiresome activation. Or I'm not sure if I'm going to call it an activation. Let's check the log here. Um, it's been three hours since I started. It's a 10 minute drive down here. Then I forgot coax, so lost a little bit of time there. Still, no QZOs on sideband and 7 on FD8 and FD4. And this is a finicky antenna to tune. Not as finicky as the uh, buddy stick, but still too finicky that this is an antenna for me. Um, it's, it's relatively well built. Not as well built as the buddy stick. It's easier to tune, but it's not an antenna for me. Simply um, takes too much time uh, Kind of it's kind of Diametrically opposite to the purpose of an antenna like this. It's gonna be you put it up you get on the air You do your activation and you go back home It's not been that way at all So I got one more of these coil loaded verticals to try and uh, that's the uh, Slidewinder DX and LB5JJ is gonna let me borrow one from him 
So that's probably gonna be the way I'm going here. I'm gonna try his antenna and both uh, LB5JJ Bob and K4OGO Walt tells me that the Slidewinder DX is a really good antenna. So that's gonna be my next antenna to try out once I have time to borrow this from Bob. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my not as good activation as it should be. Uh, please do remember to like and subscribe. And if, if you want to support the channel, there are a couple ways down below to do that. And uh, that's all for now. Until next time, 7 3.